Hey guys, I wanted to do a video today. Um, give me a second. Give me a second, sorry. Okay. Um, I wasn't connected. Okay, let me pray. Father God, I just want to thank you. Um, for the opportunity to come on YouTube today, take out self 100%, the dream that I, I desire to express, to pray and share, to share today, I pray that it will come out clear, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, cover me in the blood of Jesus Christ, wash me, forgive me of all of my sins, bless every person who is meant to look at this video, Lord God, help them to watch and come across my channel, in the mighty name, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, amen. Okay, today I want to talk about a very short um, dream that I had. It, it was about my brother, and so I would like to title this prayer, right? Um, to be tenacious in prayer, okay? To be very, very effective in prayer. Um, I remember there was a time, you know, we, we are to pray for the lost, um, pray for the lost, and I was praying for my brother a lot. Uh, I always get dreams of people passing away. Um, I, I've had so many dreams about my brother. Like uh, the devil came um, and then one of the dreams and stabbed him with like a screwdriver or a knife. That means death. You know, something put into motion that the devil's looking for. And um, I had another dream, something beautiful. I dreamed about my brother and me doing exercises together in the gym. And like I came and I sat down on the thing with him and I felt that was like inappropriate. And I got really, really, really close to him, but I took my hands and put it on the bar with him, and I started rolling with my brother. Um, I'm, I'm remembering this dream because I'm, you know, really consecrated right now in this time, and I'm looking to be, you know, closer to God. Um, so, I was praying for my brother a lot. I would wake up, before I had this particular dream I want to share with you guys, I would wake up a lot. Um dreaming of death and my brother dying, someone shooting him in the head, the devil coming uh, coming and stabbing him somewhere in his heart or whatever it is. The reason being is because um, my brother was a drug dealer. He uh, sold drugs for years. Um, he did it out of my mom's house for years. He did it until he got to, into his own place. Um, <clears throat> My brother eventually finally got his own place. Somebody broke in and took his money. Um, there was a time when I was young and my kids, uh, my daughter was like uh, three months old. Um, my brother was outside drunk on, on, the, on the porch. He was living with my mom before he had his place. And he was asleep and he had all the money on him and drugs. And somebody was coming up, trying to come up and watch him and trying to take money from him. And I remember showing the person off. Um... So anyway, God was getting fed up with my brother's life, and I started intervening and intercessing. Uh, today is a short uh, YouTube video of encouragement and to be very tenacious in prayer and to pray for your family, mother, uncle, aunt, whatever it is, cancer, drugs, prison, whatever, um, prostitution, whatever. You know, I'm just letting you know how blessed and fervent my prayers were, okay? So... I was running through this corridor, this path. I always tell you guys, I always see this thing. I've been seeing this for years. Whether it's myself, whoever I'm praying for, I see this uh, this corridor tunnel looking thing. And I'm always running, 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 running through it. So this one was pretty much different and pretty. It was like a beach. It was water. It had all these shells and beautiful shells. And it would start off that way. And I would run through it because I saw my brother going through it. And I didn't even know what it was. My brother kept going through this tunnel thing, and I just thought it was beautiful and pretty. So I kept running through it. And I would run through it, and I would run through it again and chase my brother. Anytime I see my brother going through it, I would run through it. And the interpretation later of that is that's the many times that your brother has been having a close call with death. And I'm just like, oh, my God, wow. God gave me that interpretation. It's beautiful. What God gives those interpretations. So the last time I ran around, I, I wrote this dream down. I think I went through like maybe five to ten times, right? The last time I went through uh, the the corridor, little uh, tunnel pathway, it looked like water. It was a tunnel. Uh, and on the outside of it was just like a beach. It was pretty. You come up and you go inside the tunnel. The tunnel was dark. 
Um, and I hated that part. I hated that part. I hated that part. I can remember my spirit and, and, and myself. I was sensing and God allowed me to feel that I hated that part. I would go through there to chase my brother, to keep him from wherever he was going. Whatever it is, I knew that he was going somewhere. The urgency in my spirit was he was going somewhere that wasn't good. And I would chase him through that corridor every time he would go. It would just be like me doing a regular thing in life or whatever. And I saw him go through the, the thing and I would run through it. And then I see him go we'll run through it again. I would run through it. And God was showing me that I was chasing my brother's soul. That was each time that he was on that pathway or in that tunnel or coming close to death. God said I was intervening in prayer and loving on my brother and pulling and snatching him out. Okay, let me tell you what happened the last time. The last time he went through the corridor. I was just thinking to myself, like, how many times I got to do this? <laughs> and, um... I saw an angel, beautiful angel, holy angel, angel of God this time, y'all. Beautiful, righteous angel, beautiful, long robe, and she stood in authority, and she had authority. She looked at me. She said, you cannot come beyond this point because the last time he went through the tunnel, he, um, it was serious. You know, um, yeah, I guess it was a point of death or whatever it was that he died, or it was, it was a time where God was getting really fed up because there was a door. So um, it was, this was beautiful. My brother got to the door. And the angel was telling my brother to come in. And I was like, no, 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 no. And I was trying to intervene because I had so much authority going through the the the, the, the uh, corridor. I was just like, I'm coming in with him. I said, no, you got to let me go in. She said, you cannot go past this point. And I tried. And the angel said, you cannot come past this point. And um, let me tell you what the angel told me. She said, do not carry guilt with you. You cannot take guilt with you. Oh, my God. <sighs> When I woke up from that dream and when I was sensing that, I was just like, oh my gosh, I know what that means. I know what that means. Sometimes I have dreams, many of them I don't understand, but there's times where I understand certain dreams, y'all. Oh my gosh. The angel said, you cannot bring guilt with you. And then uh, the angel opened the door and I was nosy looking around my the bro my brother and the angel. And uh, it was too, it was white in the room. It was all white. The angel opened the door. And my brother uh, had to go in. And it was it was a place of judgment. Um, and I asked the angel, and I, I remember writing it down, I said, where are you taking him to? And the angel said, this is just a place where he gets judged and God judges his life. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm telling you guys, when you pray, when you pray, when you pray for your family, when you pray for your family, where is my brother right now? He's in this house. I live with my mom. I'm moving into my apartment uh, on November 15th. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. My testimony is I, I lost my apartment. My husband left me, room, my roommate, and uh, they left me with everything, and I ended up losing my place. Uh, it took me about a month and a half to two months to recover, and I'm getting my own place. Okay, so um, my brother's in this house. He's happy. He's thriving. Um, they beat the case. He eventually got uh, arrested, and they were trying to uh, give him 20 years to life. Um, you know, my, I pray for my brother. Pastors did as well. Uh, they beat the case. My brother just had to do probation and uh, community service. He he uh, didn't he didn't pass away. And um, you know he's good. He's okay. He's working at Jack in the Box, and we both work together right now. Okay. So um, I looked past the angel, my brother, and I looked inside because I was nosy. I was like, "Where are you taking my brother to? Especially if I can't come in." Type thing. I know that angel was feeling me. And um, my brother went in the room, and I saw two doors. There was a door that he was getting ready to go in, and then there was a door on the other side. And um, uh, the angel said, "This, this is this is a, the room, the judgment room, where God reviews his life." And my brother had to sit in the room in a table. It was just nothing but like a table. He had to sit down. And it was pure white in there, and he had to wait on God. And then whatever decision that I knew. Whatever uh, decision that uh, God had made, that other side of the door was what it was for him. So God was bringing him into a place of judgment for his life, a place of judgment to 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 um, differentiate out and to weigh the heart of his life. And and oh my gosh, you guys, this is so powerful because whew, Jesus, I don't know how to tell you how powerful this is. I don't know how to tell you how powerful this is. Oh my God. You know, God was about to show up for my brother. And I was I was scared. I remember looking at that other door. I remember looking at the other door. And I, I knew and I was focused and concentrated when the angel opened the door. I was focused and concentrated on that door on the other side because I know where he was coming from. That was a place of like, okay, he died. Well, if it was spiritually, he died, right? And I knew the other side had to do with 
once he went through that other door, I knew he was going to come back, whether it was heaven or hell. And it was a door. So whatever your fate was, that's what the door turned into, right? So after I had this dream, I was just thinking to myself, like, dear Father God, you know, I really, really made it a point to pray for my brother in his life. I prayed and prayed and prayed and prayed, y'all, and I'm still praying. I'm looking for my brother. You know how many years that was? My daughter's 13. My son is 14. My daughter was just born. That was 13, 12 and a half years ago. Um, the the message of this 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 uh, YouTube is to pray for your family. How powerful! I know sometimes you don't feel like it. I know sometimes you, you may not feel like it for your own life, but pray for your family. Pray for your family. Love on your family. I remember times where I had to gather the family and tell my brother I had a dream of you passing away. I had told him so many times, so many times, and he listened. There was a point where the family knew I had so many uh, strong dreams that they would rebuke me for even coming close. They said, quit saying negative stuff. My brother said, I don't want to hear about no death. I said, I'm just trying to tell you about God and what he's saying. You got to be bold with your family. You got to be bold, man. You got to take take the, the, the territory back for the enemy. You guys be blessed. I hope that this uh, video encourages somebody today. I'm so excited that I remember the dream that God gave it to me in this time of consecration. But you guys be blessed. Uh, please continue to review it. Uh, go over it. And uh, this is a beautiful dream that I had. And, and, and uh, the end result is my brother is still here. You know, and I'm grateful for that. But I'm so happy that God showed me what it looked like in the spirit. Is what I'm trying to say. I'm so happy that God showed me what it looked like in the spirit when I prayed. And man, I'm telling you, I'm telling you guys. God is going to give revelation. He said in the end times, he will pour out his spirit upon our flesh. But there's a point that you got to do. There's something that you got to do. You guys, you got to pray. Whether it's for yourself, family whoever the world god is going to give you the results and show you what it's looking like but you got to have that faith man sometimes consecrate yourself do and feel led what god is telling you to do because right now i'm doing it because god is telling me to do it you guys be blessed i love y'all i pray that every single last video catches y'all and that it brings a point into your life where it gives you instruction on something to do for your family or a co-worker or yourself or your children or somebody mother father uncle sister cousin you guys be blessed love you